Hi guys, I'm back with my April favorites um, video. Um, there's definitely a few couple of things that I've been using a lot more this month than I have in other months, um, and stuff that I that I like a lot more, like stuff like if I got like sample sizes of things, like I definitely want to go out and get the full size version. So I have two nail favorites, um, a couple beauty favorites, and a few random favorites. So. Let's get started. So, um, my first is a random favorite, and it's um, this book that I just started reading, and I'm like already halfway through. And it's called "I Don't Want to Be Crazy" by Samantha Schultz. Um, it's basically like, basically the main thing it's about is the harrowing, remarkable true story of one girl's struggle with an anxiety disorder. So I'm like already on page. It's like in like chapters or whatever, so I'm guessing this is part four. Is that four? I'm thinking that's part four, because I'm not good with Roman, Roman, Roman numerals, but um, yeah, um, basically the girl who actually wrote it went through all this stuff, and it's just basically like she's in college and she starts having panic attacks, and then um, she... Uh, you know, she starts to see a doctor, and then she feels she can't take it and stuff like that. So it's really good, and I'm actually there's like so many like I've made like bookmarks on the pages where like I literally could have written that down myself because I too suffer with anxiety disorder. If you didn't already know that, which you probably do. Um, but yeah, this is a really really good book, so I suggest you read it even if you don't suffer from an anxiety disorder. Like you don't really have to. Uh, my second thing is my journal. This is my my journal that I write in whenever. I have a spur of the moment thought. I haven't written that much in lately, but like, I have a few entries. Like, just random stuff. I'm not gonna show you, obviously, but. And yes, I got this off Amazon if you're wondering. Just search up uh, Keep Calm and Carry On, and then you have like everything related to that. I, mean, I don't remember how much it was, so it was more for shipping than it was for the actual product. But. Um, so on to the two nail favorites. Um, I've recently been into nail marbling. If you don't know what that is, just search up um, nail marbling tutorial on YouTube and you can usually find like a billion of them. And basically you just put like nail polish in water and it spreads out and then you make cool designs and then you dip your finger in it and it comes out like amazing. But um, since it's spring, almost summer, tomorrow's May 1st, um, I've been using like really bright neon colors so like um, when I did them right now my nails are done I got them done yesterday when I went out and I don't know why I went with pink but yeah so the two colors that I was using to make the um, spiral effect were China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy which is like a, a, a teal based undertone pink and this is like the best color ever it makes you look tan like you put on your toenails or your skin it makes you look tan and this one's called under the boardwalk and it's like a purplish pink color and I put these two together like drop them in if you look up at the tutorial you'll see and then I make like a design and put my finger in it look really cool there's actually a picture on my Instagram if you follow me or not um the next are a couple of beauty favorites and um, recently I've really been loving my EOS Balm. This is the summer fruit one. I have another one and I have one, the strawberry sorbet one. But I really, really love these because no matter how lip, how, how lip, how chapped my lips are, like they always work. And I just love, it's, oh, it smells good. And sometimes I don't use this for my lips. If I have like a um, dry skin patch, I put it on and it disappears. Like these are amazing. They're kind of pricey but totally worth it. Um, the next thing I have is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I usually don't care what kind of mascara I get, just as long as it does the job, but this one is like, whoa. Like, if you can see, the wand is like thick, and the bristles are like really small, so it like separates your lashes and makes them plump at the same time. I really like it. Usually I don't care about what ma mascara I use, like, but I like it. The next thing is my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And I put this on after I use my liquid foundation, or sometimes I just use this. But I love this because when you put it on, 
this is in soft beige, by the way. When you put it on, it's basically like it gives your face a matte finish. I'm not even kidding. And it covers up all imperfections and everything. I love it. Totally worth the money. Totally going to repurchase this. And there's crap all over it. And the final beauty favorite is my NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette. palette. Um, it's the from the One Ray collection. I cannot speak today. It's the Runway collection, and it's the one caviar and bubbles. I think it was called champagne and caviar before, but this one's just my favorite because it's all neutral colors, all neutral tones, and I usually use like this color here for my lid, and then like a dark brown for the crease, and then the white for the highlight. So. Um, this is like the, all you need to do your eyes. Um, the next favorites I have are random, I guess you could say. And the first one is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin um, Spray from Bath and Body Works. I bought this a couple months ago, I think in like December or January, I think, when they had their clearance thing. but. We're recently going back to it because it smells so good. I love it. And this is the full size, obviously. But I got it on sale, and I love it, too. I have a little twist of peppermint, but it's, like, May, so I don't think I'm going to be wearing that. Um, my next favorite is the Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter from Pacifica. And I got this in my January Glam Bag from Ipsy, I think. And I, I love this. I'm definitely going to buy the full size on the... Uh, website because it's my favorite scents I'll put in one and I'm, it's barely it's, it's like empty the next thing is the healthy sexy hair soy renewal nourish, nourishing styling treatment um, argan oil and this came in our latest ipsy bag so April's yes April's and I just put like the tiniest bit um, when my hair is uh, damp and then it reduces the frizz when I go to straighten it so like um, but I don't know if I'd ever buy the full size because healthy sexy hair is really ex kind of expensive, but I can even do with this. And then I have, um, my mint julep mask, the Queen, Queen Helene, and a lot of people rave about this, and I, at first I didn't see what they were raving about, but it's amazing. Um, and basically it, it's a mask that you put on and it gets rid of blackheads, shrinks in large pores, and dries up acne pimples, and it does all of that. It does. Um, I love it. And it smells like mint, so. And my last favorite is the new phone case I got in the mail, and it's just this skull one. And it comes apart, so it's two pieces. I don't know if I can take it apart because of my nails, but basically, yeah, it just covers the front like that, and that's the back. And finally, my favorite app that I've been using lately is Snapchat and Vine. So Snapchat's when you like send random pictures, like you just take a picture and then you go to your friend list or whatever the heck and you send them weird pictures. I don't know, I don't even know what the meaning is. And Vine, which is, which now has the front camera feature, um, which takes like, how do I describe it? Um, here, I'll show you one of mine. This is where I was like playing with my money and my cigarettes. So like, it's just like a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a cool app. So yeah, those are my April favorites and I will see you here next month with my May favorites. And I hope everybody has a great, I hope everybody had a great April and, um, Let's all cheer on for summer because the weather is like fantastic up today. And I also got my tripod in the mail today, so now I don't have to put my camera down on stupid things. <laughs> Alright, so thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!